So there's always going to be hoes and gold diggers who will just want you for your money. But if those aren't the kind of women you want, then there are some things you might need to do to up your game and value in other ways for a younger woman. So let's just get right into it. Tip number one, just the tip, update your style, which includes your wardrobe, your hairstyle, and potentially your facial hairstyle. If you're still sporting the Magnum PI mustache, that might work for women your own age, <laughs> but younger women might not find that quite as appealing. Now, the key here is that you don't want to try and look like someone in an age range you're not, but you can still upgrade your style to be stylish for a man of your age. And the best thing you can do there is just go to a good barber, not one of those, you know, $10 haircut places. Go to a decent barber and ask what they think. Don't try to give them ideas about what suits you. Go with what they think suits you because they'll go with something that is attractive, but also age appropriate. Because if you try to go age inappropriate, that just looks like you're trying too hard. Same thing with uh, clothes. Go to a decent menswear store and find someone who's maybe 10 to 20 years younger than you to help you out. If you go with someone much younger than that, they're going to put you in clothes that are age inappropriate. So that's number one. Number two, improve your health and fitness. If you want a woman who is genuinely going to love you and want you for you and not just your money, which I went through those details in another video, I'll put here, then you need to be healthy. She wants to make sure you're going to live a long time. Not only that, but the healthier you are, the better you'll feel, the more confident you'll feel. This goes for any age range, but especially for older men, the more you will have appropriate stamina where it counts. Now, if you are low in testosterone, there's a test you can do from your home. I'll put a link here or below somewhere that you can have that done just in case you need a little extra help there. Number three, accept that father figure is going to be part of the allure. Even if she doesn't have daddy issues, even if she's just interested in mature men because maybe she's an old soul or maybe she's just really mature herself, part of your appeal is going to be as a father figure. Now that doesn't mean you get really kinky, although you can if you want to. That's something you're gonna have to discover with her. Number four, provide for and protect our traits that older men are more capable of than younger men. Younger men are just simply unable and uncertain in the world. So yes, provide for doesn't necessarily mean money. It can mean money if that's in both your best interests. I went over that a little bit more detail in that other video, but provide for can also mean providing uh, support, wisdom, advice, things that a younger man can't provide for her. Five, if you want to attract younger women or a younger woman, you need to know how you feel about children. Because the younger she is, the less likely she knows if she wants kids, when she wants kids, and realistically, depending on where she is in life, she may already have kids. Now, if they're grown and gone, no big deal. But if not, then this is something that you can't just ignore and hope that it works itself out because you have attraction. Rongo, bongo, that doesn't make sense. But anyways, so figure out where you stand on her kids, having kids, future kids, your kids, the whole kids thing. Six, this one's really important. So you can't be insecure about the age gap. You have to not only accept it, but you have to embrace it. You have to mentally know that it's a benefit to her, right? So you can't sell something you don't believe in. So you need to know the advantages that you have as a mature man for her that younger men don't have. And again, I went through a few of those in the other video. So watch that if you want to. Oh, and hey, just before we get into the next one, if you like this video, then remember to click like, subscribe, click all on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my Just the Tip Tuesday videos. Okay, next one, seven. Stay authentic to your lifestyle, your friends, your hobbies. Don't try to become something that you're not to fit into her world. She needs to fit into your world. That doesn't mean she abandons her world, but you definitely do not abandon your own world. I think that's self-explanatory. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Eight. Oh, eight was that. 
Don't try to fit into her world. She fits into your world. Okay, there we go. Nine. Understand that younger women use social media differently than you do. So the younger she is, the more she's going to use it, the more irritating it's going to be. But that doesn't mean you start using social media the way she uses it. You just have to accept that she's using it differently and also set your standards about what's acceptable. So for example, if you're taking her out for a nice dinner and she's got her phone out, you need to let her know that that's not okay. So you can talk about that in advance and that's part of leadership. And if she's a reasonable person, she will acquiesce your request. I'm a poet. I didn't even know it. And if not, then you need to question her maturity and decide if you really want to be with someone that's selfish and immature, because there's a difference between social media usage and selfishness. Also, see my video on signs she's a narcissist, social media signs she's a narcissist. Next one, what are we on? 10. Understand that the younger she is, the less she knows who she is or what she wants out of life. So she may think she wants to be with an older man now, but she grows and matures and discovers along the way that maybe she doesn't. And you may end up growing apart. She may end up no longer finding value in the relationship at some point in time. And it just may not last. So that's just a risk in reality. Really, it's a risk and reality of any relationship, but more so the younger she is and the bigger the age gap. 11. Have fun and don't play games. So you want to keep it a little bit light because, you know, having that maturity can sometimes make it seem more serious than it needs to be. So make sure to keep some fun and spontaneity in there, but then also keep mystery alive. So you don't want to be playing head games, but you also don't want to reveal too much or get too attached too quickly because no matter what age she is, mystery is attractive. And so you need to be able to do that at any age, actually. 12. Act age appropriate. So you're going to use your own language, even if it seems like it's old or old fashioned. If you try to use language of a younger generation, you're just going to look really creepy, desperate, and actually insecure. I actually heard this old guy... (laughs) I'm saying old guy, he was old. Say, use crib. Do you know what a crib is? Yeah, it's what young people call a house or pad or place or whatever. Don't use that word. It's such it's such a turnoff. Anyways, don't use any language that's not appropriate for your age group. Otherwise, it's just no, 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 don't do it. Okay, and this one is true for any age, but probably especially for older men dating younger women because you may have some insecurity about it. So the tip is to have an abundant mentality. This means that you know you have lots of options in the world. You have lots of dating options in the world. You have lots of beautiful women dating options in the world. If you know this, she'll feel this and she'll follow your lead on knowing that that's true. And psychological reality is that women want what other women want. So even if you don't have a bunch of other women, you know, waiting in the wings, if she thinks that or believes that, then she will see you as having extra value and she will want to lock you down so that those other women don't get you. 14. Don't focus on the age gap. Don't bring it up. Don't use self-deprecating humor about it. Otherwise, it again makes you look insecure unless 15, she brings it up. And If she brings it up, then you make it out like she's the one that's lacking because of the age gap. She's lacking in maturity or knowledge or wisdom or experience or whatever, but not seriously. You still want to be playful and teasing, but you don't want her to think that you are deficient because you're older. She's the one that's potentially deficient if she brings it up, if there's an age gap. And remember, not just women, but all people work harder to prove themselves when there's been a challenge. So if you sort of subconsciously or overtly tell her that she's the one lacking because of the age gap, she's going to try harder to be more mature to win you over. And that's actually true in any age category. And then the bonus tip is chivalry. Young men really don't know how to be gentlemen. If you're watching this and you're a younger guy, then you may want to 
try some of these things, like walking on the outside of the sidewalk, which is how to protect her, protect and provide, right? So you're walking close to the traffic to protect her from the traffic, opening doors for women. I don't care if this is sexist. You should, I just wrote a post on sexism. Someone called me a sexist. Man, I tore them a new one, let me tell you. That's my accent for whatever. Anyway, um... What else? Opening doors, walking on the outside of the sidewalk, pulling out chairs. That might be a little excess for if you're a younger guy. But do all the chivalrous things that an older, more mature man might do. And there's a big difference between chivalry and chauvinism. Big difference. Don't be a jerk. Be a gentleman. Lead her. Hold her hand and lead her through a crowd if you're allowed to be in a crowd. (laughs) And remember that there are some younger women who appreciate the maturity and the experience and the skills that an older man has from having either longer term relationships or experience and just being more confident and comfortable in their own skin. So definitely, if you are attracted to younger women, then don't discount them. But as I said in the other video, if a younger woman doesn't want to date you, it may be because of the age gap. It might be because of something else completely different. Don't ever try to convince a woman to date you for any reason. And this goes for all age categories. Never use logic to try and convince a woman of something that she needs to feel with her heart and other parts. Other parts. Yeah. And remember that all relationships require effort, consistent effort over time. So you can never, never, never stop courting. Not saying that she, she's got to do her part too, but if you want to keep the woman, then you've got to keep courting her for the long haul. That's it. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, thank you for your generous donations. I am happily decaffeinated. I even have some chocolate.